In this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to connect and configure Cisco router and switch at your home or office internet by using router on a stick method. First, let me show you my network diagram and physical connectivity. This is my Cisco router that I am using in this video. This router has two fast Ethernet ports. I will connect my Cisco router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port to my home ISP router and internet working in my ISP router. Also, I will configure my router port as DHCP enable so this port will get the IP address from ISP router via DHCP. And this is my Cisco switch. I will connect my Cisco router, port fast Ethernet 0 slash 1, to my Cisco switch on port gigabit 0 slash 48. In Cisco switch, I will configure this port as trunk port, and multiple VLAN will be passed by this port. Also, I will create three VLANs. VLAN 10. VLAN 20 and VLAN 30. And on the router side, I will configure sub-interfaces for each VLAN. This is our network diagram. And now let's go to physical devices to do some physical connectivity. This is my home lab and this is my Cisco 2800 series router and Cisco 2900 series switch that I'm gonna use in this video. This is the back side of my device. And here you can see this is my router fast ethernet zero slash zero interface. This blue network cable is coming from my home router and connected to my Cisco router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port, as per our network diagram. Now I use another network cable and connect to my Cisco router fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port, and at the second end of this network cable I connect to my Cisco switch gigabit 0 slash 48 port, and I will configure this port as trunk port. Now to log in and configure the Cisco router, we need a console cable. I connect RJ45 end to my Cisco router console port and USB end to my laptop USB port. Now let's start configuration. First, I will configure our Cisco router. The first command I'm gonna put here is enable. I type enable and press enter. To check the interface of my Cisco router, I type command. Show IP interface brief and here you can see I have two interfaces in this router. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 and Fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. As I show you earlier, I connect my router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port to my home ISP router, and it received the IP address automatically from my home ISP router via DHCP. And our fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port is unassigned till now. I want my Cisco router fast Ethernet 0 slash 0 port always get IP address via DHCP from my home internet router. For that, I go to privilege mode first by typing config T and enter. Now here I type, interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and enter. I want this port receive IP from my ISP router via DHCP. For that I type command IP address DHCP and enter. Next I type, no shutdown and enter and exit. So here you can see our Cisco router fast ethernet 0 slash 0 port received IP address via DHCP and it received IP 192.168.1.11 from my home ISP router. Now I will exit from privilege mode and let's try to ping the gateway of my home ISP router. For that, I type ping 192.168.1.1 and enter. And here you can see, we can successfully ping the home internet router. Now we must add static route to our Cisco router. For that, I go to privilege mode again by typing config T and enter. To add static route in Cisco router, we type command IP route 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0 means any IP address and 0, .0, 0.0.0 means any subnet and route to my internet gateway that is 192.168.11 and enter. Now let's check the routing table in our Cisco router by typing command show EP route and enter. Oh who, we need to add do command first in privileged mode, do show IP route and enter. And here you can see the status route that we just entered. And this is the directly connected cable from ISP router on our fast ethernet zero slash zero port. Now let's enable the fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 port first by using no shut command because by default port is disable. Now it's time to configure the sub interface on Cisco router. To create sub interface for any VLAN, we type command interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and then the VLAN number. I type dot 10. It means this sub interface is for my VLAN 10. Then we type command encapsulation dot 1Q 
and this encapsulation for VLAN 10, so I type 10. Now, assign the IP address to this sub-interface. I type IP address 10.10.10.1, and subnet is 255.255.255.0, and then press Enter. And the next command is no shutdown and exit. Now I will do the same for VLAN 20 and VLAN 30 sub-interface. For that I type interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1.20. It means this sub-interface is for VLAN 20. And then we type command encapsulation dot 1Q means this encapsulation for VLAN 20. And enter next. I assign the IP address to this sub-interface. For that I type IP address 10.10.20.1. And the subnet is 255.255.255.0 and then press enter. And the next command is no shutdown and exit. Same for VLAN 30. I type command interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1.30. Next, I type command encapsulation dot 1Q30. And enter next. I assign the IP address to this sub interface. For that I type IP address 10.10.30.1 and the subnet is 255.255.255.0 and press enter. And no shutdown and exit. Now let's check our routing table again, but first let's exit from privilege mode and then type show IP route and enter. And here you can see, this is our VLAN 10 sub interface route. This is our VLAN 20 sub interface route. And this is our VLAN 30 sub interface route. Now let's configure a DHCP server in Cisco router for VLAN 10, 20, and 30. For that, we go to privilege mode first by typing conf t and enter. And then we type command IP DHCP pool. And here we give the pool name. I am creating this DHCP pool for VLAN 10, so I type 10 here. Now we need to assign the network for VLAN 10. I type command network 10.10.10.0 slash 24 and enter. Next, we need to define the default route. For that, I type command default route 10.10.10.1. This is our VLAN 10 gateway IP address. And press enter next. We need to define the DNS server. For that, I type command DNS server 8.8.8.8 and enter and exit from here. That's it, we successfully created DHCP server for VLAN 10 in our Cisco router. Now I configure another DHCP server for VLAN 20. For that I type IP DHCP pool 20 and enter. Then I type network 10.10.20.0 slash 24 and enter. And the default route is the gateway IP address for VLAN 20, that is 10.10.20.1 and enter next we give DNS server 8.8.8.8 .8 and enter and exit from here. Next, we configure DHCP server for VLAN 30. For that, I type IP DHCP pool 30 and enter. Then I type network 10.10.30.0 slash 24 and enter. And the default route is the gateway IP address for VLAN 30, that is 10.10.30.1. Enter next, we give DNS server 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 and enter and exit. From here, we successfully created the DHCP servers for our VLAN 10, 20, and 30. And now it's time to configure the NAT. For that, first we go to interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 for IP NAT outside command. Because this interface is connected to my ISP router, I type IP route outside and enter and exit from here. Now we need to configure NAT inside on our all sub interfaces. For that I type command interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1.10. This is our sub interface for VLAN 10 and here I type command IP NAT inside enter and exit. Same for other VLANs I type interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1.20 IP NAT inside and exit. For our third VLAN, I type interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1.30, then IP NAT inside and exit. Okay, our NATing is done, and now it's time to configure the access list. To configure access list in Cisco router, I type IP access list standard and here we need to assign a name to this access list I give name, local and enter. 
Next command is permit 10.10.10.0. That is my VLAN 10 network. And after that, we need to add wildcard mask. That is 0.0.0.255. And enter I press upper arrow and change this to 20. So this is my VLAN 20 network. We permit this also. Again, I press upper arrow and this time I permit my VLAN 30 network. And exit here, we create access list successfully and permit our all three networks via this access list. Now it's time to configure the overload command. For that, I type IP NAT inside source list. And here you need to give your access list name. In my case, it's local then interface, fast ethernet, zero slash zero, overload and enter. That's it, now our Cisco router configuration is done. And now it's time to configure the Cisco switch. Let's move our console cable from Cisco router to our Cisco switch console port and log in to this Cisco switch. The first command we type here is enable and enter. To go to privilege mode, we type config T and enter. First, we configure the trunk port on our Cisco switch. For that, we type command interface gigabit ethernet 0 slash 48. To make this port as trunk, we type switch port mode trunk and enter. Then we type no shut and enter then exit. Now this port is trunk port now. To verify that, we type command show interface trunk. We need to type do command here and enter. And here you can see the status is trunking. And this is for my port, gig 0 slash 48 port. Now need to create VLAN 10, 20, and 30 in this switch. For that, we type command VLAN 10 and enter. Then no shutdown and enter and then exit. Next we type VLAN 20 and enter and no shutdown and then exit. VLAN 30 and enter and no shutdown, command and then exit. We successfully created three VLANs in this Cisco switch. Now to check the VLAN status in Cisco switch, we exit from privilege mode first by typing exit. And here I type command show VLAN enter. And here you can see three new VLANs are created, VLAN 10, 20, and 30. Also you notice here, currently all interfaces belong to VLAN 1, the native VLAN. Now I assign these interfaces to my VLANs and create access port on Cisco switch. For that, we use range command and type interface range gig 0 slash 1 till 16. Next command I type is switch port mode access. Now these all ports are access ports. Next, I type switch port access VLAN 10 by this way. The first 16 ports now belong to VLAN 10 and exit. Same thing I will do for next 16 ports. For that, I type interface range gig 0 slash 17 till 32. Next command I type here is switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 20. Now these ports also belong to VLAN 20 and exit. Next command is interface range gig 0 slash 33 till 44. So these 12 ports I give to VLAN 30, switch port mode, access switch port, VLAN 30 and exit. To check the VLAN status again in Cisco switch, we exit from here and then type command show VLAN and enter. Now here you can see VLAN 10 has 16 ports from gig 0 slash 1 to gig 0 slash 16. And next 16 ports belong to VLAN 20. And the next 12 ports belong to VLAN 30 now. That's it. We successfully complete our configuration in Cisco switch and Cisco router. And now it's time to check the service. This is my home Cisco network lab. And this is my Cisco router and switch that we configured. I connect this blue laptop to first 16 ports of this switch these access ports belong to VLAN 10. And my other laptop, I connect to the next 16 ports. These access ports belong to VLAN 20. Here you can see, my trunk port is blinking continuously. Now I go to my first laptop that connected to VLAN 10. And on Ethernet LAN card, we check the IP. Here I receive 10.10.10.3 IP address. It means my laptop gets the IP address from VLAN 10 DHCP server. And on my other laptop Ethernet LAN card, we received IP address 10.10.20.3. So my both laptops get the IP address from Cisco router via DHCP. 
Now let's open the web browser and check internet. It's working or not. Here you can see the internet is working and the internet speed is like 100 megabits per second. And on my second laptop, let's check the internet first. And yes, it's working. Now check the speed and here also. We get like 90 megabits per second speed here. Now let's ping both PC. I open command prompt here and type ping 10.10.10.3 and enter. And here you can see, I can ping from VLAN 20 to VLAN 10 PC successfully. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.